Hello everybody and welcome back to FX Street. My name is Akash and today we're going to be taking a look at Bitcoin and discuss what's happening with it. All right, before we get into that, please make sure to head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to stay updated to the hottest trends of the crypto market, make sure to also click on the bell icon. You can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto and just stay sick. Yep, you can give us a follow on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And if you enjoy the content that I produce, make sure to give me a follow as well at Mangeko with a zero at the end. Right, uh, you can join my Telegram group by clicking on this link in my bio and my YouTube channel with this link. Right, let's get into Bitcoin. Today, I published an article, a, a Bitcoin weekly report, basically. Uh, in that article, I basically talk about what's happening from a high time frame perspective. Right, uh, if you know, if you've been following me, uh, I've been posting this chart for quite some time. Right? It basically consists of ascending triangle. It's, it's a bear flag, essentially. Uh, but what I'm focusing on is the ascending parallel channel, right? Uh, once the channel is formed, uh, a breakdown of that leads to a massive downswing, right? This has happened since the start of 2021 and basically has led to, totally there, there are two ascending parallel channels that have broken down and the third one is currently in play, right? Uh, for now, the price has tried breaking above the ascending triangle, ascending channel for three times. Uh, the latest one was yesterday on 11th of August, right? But all the three times the price has failed to move above it successfully, right? On top of that, what's really interesting is that yesterday price tagged the midpoint of this crash that you saw here and got rejected. And as you can see here, this bearish candle uh, obviously indicates that there, there's going to be a shift in momentum and trend and the price is going to start going lower. <clears throat> so that said, uh, I do have to mention about the 200 and the 30, 200 week moving average and the 30 day exponential moving average, which basically are converging around 22,900, 22,910 approximately. So even though this downtrend is going to like, seems like it's already started. I feel like once uh, we get a breakdown of 30 day EMA at roughly 22.9K, I think that's when the whole bullish scenario kind of falls apart and that the price is going to head back down and probably retest the lower trend line of the channel at roughly roughly somewhere around here at 21.6k i think that's that's what's going to happen right although the price is going is going to close above this triangle uh, above the channel my bad it could retest 21.6k is what i'm saying right now this scenario makes a lot lot of sense uh, if you look at it from a low time frame perspective, right? But I still have to mention one more thing. So the price not only has to break below the 200 week moving average and the 30 day EMA, but as you can see here, this resistance uh, level, the support level uh, for RSI here extending from 51 to, four, 51 to 47, it's basically been a very important level on a daily time frame. Uh, each retests have kind of managed to hold the price from falling lower, which indicates that there, there was a lot of momentum. So a confirmation of the start of a downswing will arrive once uh, Bitcoin managed to close below this uh, support level that you see here right now. So yeah, let's get into a low time frame perspective. Where as you can see here, I'm on a, I'm on a one hour time frame. Uh, there is a, a lot of distribution that's happening in the market right now, and it can be seen clearly uh, with a Wyckoff distribution model. Although I do have to mention that there there's a slight difference, there's a slight variation to the, the Wyckoff distribution phase or Wyckoff, how you want to pronounce that. So usually after, like this is the primary supply, this is where uh, a lot of supply comes into play, uh, smart money kind of gets out, and then you see a buying climax. After Soon after a buying climax, you are typically supposed to see an automatic reaction, which if you look at it from a textbook perspective, this is the automatic reaction, but I've, instead of marking automatic reaction, which is AR around here, I've used it to mark here. And generally speaking, after an AR, there should be a UT. So that's why I've marked UT here instead of after AR. So basically then uh, you see a sign of weakness, which is basically a sweep below the automatic reaction, followed by which the price goes up and sweeps the UT. So it basically the, the range for, it is very similar to a range bound movement where the price sweeps the range and then goes up and then sweeps the range high and then comes down, right? So first you get a sweep of AR, which is SOW, which is a sign of weakness. And then you get a sweep of up thrust, which is UT as UTAD, which is up thrust after distribution. So the distribution happens here. And then we get a one final up thrust, which has basically retested the midpoint of this 
crash that I just showed you, showed you this particular rally that you saw here, the midpoint is here around here. So the price did face a rejection around that level here, and now the price is coming down lower. Uh, in my article today, I mentioned that the price could potentially go up. I kind of factored that the price could potentially come up to this level here, which is 24.2K, but it seems like the price has managed to kind of retest this level here at 24 point roughly 1K, and it is starting to crash now. Like it, it is beginning to start a downtrend, but I don't think it's gonna start right away. Hopefully, like my orders are placed here at 21 point, uh, what is it, 24.2K. Let's see if they actually get filled, right? So. Uh, as for the downswing, I'm expecting the price to first retest the 30 day EMA, which is an extremely important level. Like once we get a breakdown of this level, that's when I will kind of know that the price is actually going lower, right? But eventually, but I do want to take uh, a, a bit of the profits off around 30 day EMA at 22.9K. Right. So once uh, we get a breakdown of 22.9K, the price is going to consolidate around uh, this level here for quite a bit, which is roughly around 22.6K to 22.4K. So once we get this uh, consolidation done with, the price is going to continue going lower. And the levels that you should look out after 22.4K is basically the H4FEG, which is 21.4K, and the equal lows that were formed by Bitcoin on 18th of July and roughly 26th of July. Right? Uh, perhaps a sweep of this level is where the downswing could end. Right, this is my short-term outlook on Dogecoin. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this analysis of mine uh, and my basically the trading plan that I'd uh, explained here. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.